Hey guys, Anthony here for D News with Bernie Payton. Bernie, you are a wildlife biologist. Right. Which is which is what? Well, it's a biologist that goes out into the field okay. to study wildlife and plants in the natural habitat. So we're not so much back in the lab, but we're out in nature. Gotcha. And while you were out in nature, you kind of you kind of picked up this habit of folding origami of the animals that you study, which is really cool. How did you get started doing that? Well, uh, when I was nine years old, I was very dyslexic as I am today, and uh, my stepfather came back and he said uh, one day, "Here's a book that might interest you." And I took to it like a duck to water. Origami has discrete steps that you can follow with a lot of visual uh, representation. And so you could follow the diagrams and you could say, here's where I am, this is where I need to go. Breaks a complex task down into easy to follow steps. Cool. And, and, so you're, and you've gotten to the point now where you're doing a, you're doing a book called Eco Origami, which is uh, just- My own just, designs. Yeah, everything, everything is done. This is one of your designs here. This is a, what kind of animal is this? This is a spectacle bear. This is uh, the animal I did the most uh, research on during my biological career. I spent about 20 years in the Andes Mountains off and on doing work on this species from uh, Colombia down to uh, the border of Argentina. That's so cool. And it, Andes, yeah. it, it looks like it may be a little advanced. This may not be one that I can do. Um, I think you probably could. Yeah? Yeah, but let's try. Why don't we cut off the head? Yeah, we'll, we'll just do the head for Okay, now. yeah, let's start with the let's head. Uh, I can do let's that. Let's do that. Let's put this guy Let's aside. put that guy down. Yeah. So, all right, let's flip the paper over. Okay. All right, so we got the white side here. Mm -hmm. We'll just fold it in half. All right. And what's what's cool about the spectacle bear? Well, the most amazing thing about spectacle bears is they live everywhere from almost 15,000 feet in the Andes down to the sea level in all of the habitats that are there. That's and a hardy animal. Usually it, animals can't exist in that varied an environment. And right? they live in all three ranges of the Andes down to the jungle floor, in the driest deserts of the world, in the wettest rainforests. They're Rainforests that get over 20 feet of rain a year. Wow. And they live in all of it. And spectacle bears are very similar to all bears in many respects. But Does yours look like that? Yeah, we'll just, uh, <laughs> we'll just put it up from there. There you oh, go. There we go. There you go. I was going from the bottom. I yeah, there you go. go. From the top. Yeah, we'll flip it over. I can sort of see like a face forming in yeah, here. Yeah, you can see this is uh, this is going to be the, the top of the eyebrow. You see where those pinch marks we made right here and here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to connect this ear up here to that pinch mark. Origami is really cool because it's a sharing activity. And uh, as you can see, yours is gonna look very close to mine when uh -huh. you're done. So is there, is there a reason why you, uh, why you decided you're only gonna fold things that you've studied? Well, uh, the reason is because you wanna have a visual library of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really wanna ask yourself, what is the most essential thing about a spectacle bear, for example? Yeah. And what's essential about it? I guess it, it's the spectacles. You got it. Yeah. Okay, so it's just <laughs> smart. It's also the short nose. Okay. This has the shortest nose of all of the bear species. Okay. So it's known as a short nosed bear. When these things, their relatives came over from the land bridge, mm -hmm. it was the largest land carnivore known to date. It was four times the size of our largest brown bears. Okay. It was huge. And then it went all the way down to South America and speciated. This this is stuff that like you could potentially get from a book or from video footage, right? What do you get, oh, what do you get from being in front of the, in front of an animal when you decide to design it? Well, you get you get for example the you you abstract it. Mm -hmm. In other words, what are the most important features? And then you can put those in and you can leave other things out. Origami is a is a very expressive art and you want the paper to express as much as you can. Sometimes when it gets too detailed, you ask, why'd you make that out of paper? It would have been a better, would have been a better wood sculpture or something else. Gotcha. Same with science. In science, you want to eliminate some of the noise out there and just focus on little key details. Art and science are very similar. Fold this little corner, you reach in here and fold it down into that space. When are you done designing an animal, or are you constantly revising? <laughs> Never. Uh, it's a, it, it basically, you always improve on it. They got tiny ears, so, huh? Yeah, they do. So spectacle bears are. are I just said that because I was hoping that they have tiny ears. They have ears are going to turn out real no, tiny. No, they have on smaller mine. ears. They have smaller <laughs> ears than most. Now we're going to reach inside and open it up, mm -hmm. and 
The most important hand in origami is the support hand. So what you want to do is to put this hand in this thing like this, and you want to push down on top of the head, roll this to the side inside, mm -hmm. and we're done. And there it is. Oh, Dudley, make yours like mine. That's not bad, right? I did okay. I think, you did better than okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You think so? Uh, no, I think it's awesome. I, I mean, feel good. His, that. First, his eye's kind of droopy on this no, no, side, that, though. That, uh, actually, that's <laughs> very much like the way you see him in yeah. the wild. You'll see a little bit of a fleck here, a little bit here. They always have a little white like I do underneath the, underneath the chin. This is going to be in the book, yeah? No, this no. isn't. This, this is, is going to be special just for you. Wow! I'm going to throw some diagrams at you, and uh, you'll be able to distribute them to your public. This is great. And you have a little, you have a little spectacle bear head. That's right. And, uh, you know, it, it, if you make a little bigger one, yeah. you can wear it. See? <laughs> Amazing. What do you think? <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much for showing me how to do this. Hey, you've been the best. Uh, you've been the best, Bernie. Uh, be sure to subscribe here at D News for more science updates and potentially more paper folding. I don't know. I was kind of into this. Hey, you did great. <laughs>